And we're back. So, want to head over this way to this trailer. Because inside, there's a very special scientist. If you have a Pokemon called Ditto, I would be very happy to trade Rotom for your Ditto. And we just so happen to have that little thing right here. Rotom is a rather interesting little Pokemon. It is actually not a legendary contrary to popular belief. It has abysmal attack, abysmal HP, and pretty not great defensive stats. It's decently fast and has a solid-ish special attacking stat. Okay, who am I kidding? This thing is terrible. However, if you were to go to Shopping Mall 9, which we'll be flashing over to right now, Rotom will like to enter one of these five electronics devices. Starting off, we have Fan Rotom. One could almost call it a Phantom. It is a bit slower, but it has pretty solid bulk across the board and a pretty decent special attacking stat. It will, however, come with the very redundant typing of electric flying with the ability Levitate. Before transforming into this type, Phantom will have Air Slash in place of one of its moves. Next, we're really starting to chill out here with Frost Rotom. Same stats across the board, just now sporting the unique Electric Ice type combo. It will learn Blizzard in this form. It's starting to heat up with Heat Rotom. It's got the same stats across the board, but in this case, we'll learn Overheat. Next, Rotom can really cut it with this form. I guess you call it a Motom Rotom. It learns Leaf Storm, which gives it a very interesting type combination of Grass and Electric. A few weaknesses. It's interesting. And... Really having a blast with the Wash Rotom! This is the one that put the Pokemon on the map. Very bizarre type combination, it's very difficult to deal with. Levitate gives it complete immunity to one of those types you could generally counter it with. And it learns the impressive Hydro Pump here. It's not bad. Though, I would say it's a bit late to add any of these to your party. It is an interesting Pokemon, and if you're finding, say, maybe a couple of fights in post-game a bit challenging and one of these forms could be helpful, they definitely can be. Honestly, Water Time is probably my favorite just because it doesn't shoot water out of the hose like you think it would. I imagine it just opens up like the giant door in its chest and just blasts the water shoot out of there. What? I can imagine fun things. But, yes, because, I mean, the other forms, the, the stuff shoots out of its chest in all the other forms. I mean, Frost Rotom, its chest opens up and the ice shoots out of there. Heat Rotom, it opens up the door and the heat shoots out. Uh, Fan Rotom, same thing. I mean, like, I mean, the Mo Rotom doesn't really have a chest, so it can't really do anything. But, we're going to be heading back. Also, Eeks, the Rotom you get will always be holding a Max Elixir, and also know the moves, Electro Ball, Substitute, Hex, and Charge. It's not bad, but also not great. So, I'll meet you guys back right at the start of Route 15. But you know what? I think it's time we welcome some old friends. Welcome to my home. It all started with you. You should be proud of that. I still haven't forgotten how bad your nature was. But, let's get out eyesore, because we have a couple of things to go around here and grab, and I'm really sorry, Darunia, but you're just, 
You're so over leveled, you're just going to destroy the entire game just by existing. I the game can't handle your awesomeness. The game just can't handle it. So what we're gonna wanna do is get a Pokemon with strength and Isor. You will repulse everything, even boulders who are not alive. So I messed up. That was a big mistake. Why did I even do that? I can't believe I can't believe I just did that. that. I can't believe I actually did that. That is a flub right there. That is a flub. Flub is a fun word. Come on, two steps! What the heck, game? What the heck, game? Okay, I know your encounter rates are brutal, but sheesh! Two freaking steps in the... I literally dipped my toe in that grass! Come on! I just turned around! Oh my god, this game! <laughs> this game is ridiculous! Sub-Zero, just kill it, please! Just, just kill it! Uh, just kill the bonehead! Oh my gosh, this game is... Freaking insane, I love it. There we go! Push the rock in, goes there. Upgrade! This is not a Galvanic Megamorph, though. So... You know what? Okay. I actually like how they do this, because this does require a lot of thought to actually be able to push the block into place correctly. So, I'm okay with this puzzle. Like, I kind of thought that just upon rethinking about this game, this was how strength was going to be, because a lot of it is just, okay, push this rock, you know, this very straightforward direction of just two spaces in front of you, and the rock goes in. I was surprised to find that, yeah, that's how basically all of the strength puzzles are this game. They're not actually strength puzzles. And I'm okay with that. I am very much okay with that. Come on, game! Oh my gosh, this, these encounters are freaking up. I, I am walking. Like, I, I'm walking. And I don't have anything in the front of the part that is making it so encounter rates are going. I don't have Illuminate. Uh, I saw in the front of the party, so I don't get it. I just don't freaking get it. You know what? To save the little shred of sanity that I still have remaining within my brain box, let's just go this way. TM9 Venoshock. For a pretty not great TM, I'm surprised it's gotten this late. I mean, Venoshock isn't bad, it's just, I wouldn't exactly call it a super good TM. So over here, so that's where the Citrus Berry giving rangers are. You, I believe, also... Why did I just not go around? I should have just gone around. I unveil my Pokemon to you, they are the rest in the world. No, they're not the best in the world. Why? Because yours didn't save the world. Alright. If they're your kid's Pokemon, I can definitely understand. All right. I'm going to assume that they're your kid's Pokemon, so I'm not going to be 98% mean to you. I'm not even mad that thing just rested and restored its HP. A sleeping spiel is adorable. It's so cute. Aw, just look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> Even its snores are damaging. That's a, I, I like Seal. I think it's adorable. I love it, but... It's just so cute! Look at it! It's, it's sleeping! It's so cute! I love it. So, it's just, you just wanna cuddle it! I love it. I, I'm a sucker for cute things. I'm sorry. Your Pokemon are also cute, but my Pokemon are... You know what? I'll, I'll give that to you, man. I, I will give you that. Your Pokemon are the most charming. I I, I can't compete with the I can't compete with the sleep and sleep. I can't. I just can't compete with that. It's too cute. Like Darunia's got biceps that destroy the entire planet. 
David just slurps the HP out of everything. I got an ice cream cone that can cause blizzards. I've got a prehistoric dinosaur bird that can just destroy everything. And an electro bug. And a mole that can tunnel under everything. But I, I don't gotta sleep in spiel. I don't have a spiel that can just close its eyes, go to sleep, and just be adorable. But, let us head into the final bridge of Unova. The marvelous bridge. Truly marvelous and also a bridge. That is a very, very fun description. I'm sorry. I love it. Marvelous bridge is really mind-boggling, so I'm gonna take a rest. Let's see, do you? I want to research the effective method for fighting in rotation battles. We have a... Oh! Oh, rotation battle, girl! I forgot that you had a rotation battle for us! Hey, Sarah Glinda. Interesting name. Alamamola, Clink Clang, and Behiem. Alright. So, do you have healing Pokemon? Either way, free. Uh... Well, then, you have to have a good lead for me. Um. I'm gonna go for Hail. Oh no! This is bad, this is bad, this is, this is, this is bad! That thing is actually kind of scary when it gets a shift gear under its belt. I mean, it makes sense because the belt is like an assembly belt, something like that. So we got HP that we're storing, so, um... Uh, Blizzard! Blizzard, 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 Blizzard! It's taking aim. Yeah, we know we found our weak point. The cone! <laughs> destroy the cone, destroy the ice cream! Come on, come on, I know I know you can do this, come on. Don't don't be destroyed. Wait, 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 you You had lock on on me and you were faster and you just moved out of the way! What the heck? Okay, I, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain, I'm just gonna freeze you guys. Of course you go to Willa Momola, because screw you. That is nothing. You're a Loma Mola bad. Loma Mola's bad. Yeah, I had a feeling you were gonna rotate again, but now get blizzard. Get blizzed. Blitz blizz. Blizz and blitz. I don't know, I'm just tired. Alright, so we got. Oh yeah, you get split experience. Hail stopped. Um. I'm, I'm just gonna go. No, I'm gonna go the other way and just. I'm just gonna go for freaking earthquake because I don't. If you rotate or not, <laughs> helping hand. Oh my gosh, he's helping hand and basically with a single battle. That's funny. That's actually funny. No, I didn't mean to use like like. Well, that doesn't actually matter anyway because. Screw you. Okay, well it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go for bricker bricker. Taking aim. My back is the weak point, the weak point, but it doesn't matter because you just got brick broken. Go clank your gear somewhere else. And my gear grew a level. Nice. Sub zero. No, not a level up yet. All right, Aloma Mola, go for wide guard. Oh no, you didn't go for brick break. You went for hydro pump this turn. But too bad, you got brick break. Can't heal pulse that. And Sub Zero grew to level 68. Nice. New chance, are you a genius at rotation battles? Uh, no, I'm just not switching Pokemon out of good matchups. Are you the one that said that? Decided to find a new Pokemon partner on Route 13. Uh, it couldn't have been a Kyrem, because we already found that. But. Welcome to the Marvelous Bridge. Ah, such magnificent scenery. We are going to come back here because there's something else I want to show off about this place during another time.
And no, it's not you. It is over here. The Baggy Pants Fools! You, uh, Gets is gone. He went off somewhere alone after we rescued him from the castle. On the day Gets has saved our lives, we have sworn to be loyal to him even now after he ordered us not to search for him. Also, Gets has said to give you these. We obtain the adamant orb. We put the adamant orb in the item's case. As well as this. We received the illustrious orb. We have also put it in the item's case. And also this. The Grizzlyest orb. This also goes in the item's case along with the other two. Gets us where did he find these? What was he planning to do with them? Why did he give them to you? There is no way to know. Is he testing you? Or using you? We, the Shadow Triad, will always have always been and always will be the loyal servants of Getsus, and Getsus' ambitions will never cease. Never shall we meet again. Farewell. Those three orbs are not Unovan. They are Cinnawite? I, th I don't know what the term is. These are the orbs that go to the Sinnoh Dragons, Dialga's Adamant Orb, Palkia's Lustrous Orb, and Giratina's Grizzius Orb. There's no way of obtaining these Pokemon in this game, so we're not going to be bioing them. I presume these were given to you just because now we have Poketransfer and you can't actually get these, uh, these Pokemon's items anywhere else in the game. Because generally the way you get them is they come holding it. But we're going to talk to this one. Son, have I got a deal for you and you alone? Just your chance, but you the secret Pokemon. I'll say the secret Pokemon Magikar for an unbelievable $500. Are you interested? I don't know. Am I interested in a pretty decent physical attacker that actually has a good bit of bulk and access to the amazing ability of Intimidate? I don't know, but maybe you are. Let's see. Gyarados is positive. It has... A whopping 125 physical attack, paired up with the amazing power of Waterfall, I think it hit pretty hard. It also gets access to Dragon Dance. You know, Dragon Dance, Dragon Dance. Boost speed, boost physical attack. He's a monster, though a bit too late to be helpful. It's a nice thought, but we are getting it. We bought the Magikarp for $500. Would you like to give the Magikarp a name? Nope. Oh yeah, returns not accepted. Got that. So returns are not accepted for that Magikarp. And with that, we have completed our lap around the Unova region. The parasol inside the gate. Am I don't I really don't want to get dirty nice. Do you have something to say? Oh awesome, I just made my day. Let me give you an extra drink for free. I am me. You are you. You really, you really don't know what to do when someone's on the visit you. Nope, I don't. There are a few things we have yet to go over. Namely, they are a couple of special events throughout the Unova region and the place of the Unity Tower. Unity Tower is unlocked in Castelia City by trading with someone who has a country on their DS registered elsewhere than where you are. It's really just a place to keep track of all the people you have gotten Pokemon from that are outside the U.S. The other places are a bunch of event-exclusive locations or just things dealing with event-exclusive Pokemon. So we aren't going to be covering those because those were Wi-Fi events you can no longer do. There's also one more thing on the Marvelous Bridge we have not gone over, or rather two things. The one other thing, however, is the girl with the Porpa Trat where just doing what she does gets you a big mushroom once a day, and it's not worth it. The other thing I will be showing you right now. Wait. There we go. Okay, finally. What, 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 did you just disappear? A little unsettling, isn't it? Yep. I, always, I thought so too when I first saw that, and I always wanted to know what it was. That is the spirit of a girl who used to play on the Marvelous Bridge, or rather where the Marvelous Bridge was built, before it was built. Even right now as I'm getting this, I'm actually getting chills. Yeah, Pokemon gets a little dark at times. 
and that's what I like about it. But, we're not finished with our trek around Unova yet. We still have a couple of people left to face, and some trainers yet to meet. We'll be continuing on our journey by heading to Victory Road next. We promised Sharon a battle after all. I would hate to disappoint the guy.